judge us, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting Amen. life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. So, o Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Spirit God. The response to the responsorial psalm is, Lead me, O Lord, in the path of life eternal. Lead me, O Lord, in the path of life eternal. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Lead me, O Lord, the path of the eternal. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Lead me, O Lord, the path of life eternal. O search me, God, and know my heart. O test me, and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path. And lead me in the path of life eternal. Lead me, O Lord, in the path of life eternal. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah! 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 As long as we love one another, God will live in us, and His love will be complete in us. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
I say this to you who are listening, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who treat you badly. To the man who slaps you on one cheek, present the other cheek too. To the man who takes your cloak from you, do not refuse your tunic. Give to everyone who asks you. And do not ask for your property back from the man who robbed you. Treat others as you would like them to treat you. If you love those who love you, what thanks can you expect? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what thanks can you expect? For even, even sinners do that much. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what thanks can you expect? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. Instead, love your enemies and do good and lend without any hope of return. You will have a great reward and you will be sons of the Most High, for he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be compassionate as your Father is compassionate. Do not judge, and you will not be judged yourselves. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned yourselves. Grant pardon, and you will be pardoned. Give, and there will be gifts for you. A full measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. Because the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given back. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The compassionate love of God our Father never fails us, even though we are still sinners. And so we pray. That we may always be aware of God's forgiving love and care for us, especially in times of trouble and difficulty. Lord, hear us. Lord, basically hear us. That those who suffer persecution or who have been seriously wronged by others may experience fellowship with Christ and be able to forgive and pray for those who hurt them. Lord, hear us. Lord, basically hear us. And we pray for all our own intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, Krishna, hear us. And we pray for all who have died. Remember those whose anniversaries are today. Johnny Byrne, Sinead Daly, Elizabeth Douglas and Catherine Kenny. Also we pray for Brian Hamill, whose funeral is this morning at 11 o'clock in St. John the Baptist. May their souls, souls and the souls, souls of all the faithful for departed for the mercy of God, the of God rest, rest in peace. God our Father, these are the prayers of your children who are beloved to you and your Son. We present them to you in full joy and confidence through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for us. Oh, 
Tomasz, Let's see people all crap. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your words are whom you made all things whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining to your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as we will voice the acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and bound of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. This bread and took this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, 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 until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and the and our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Michael, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome then to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our venerable spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the 
unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. The Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come with me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and remember to see